Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. This morning I just wanted to pop on and do a couple quick uh, rank battles, but also to, primarily I'm logging on because I saw this this uh, this gesture from DCX02. Um, man, it's so cool when people want to send out love like this and send out support uh, for me. Like this is a card that is is actually excellent, but I don't. You know, I didn't ask for a card. I didn't like, I, you know, this is a card I really value, but to just log in and see that sort of generosity is really, it's, it's noteworthy. And uh, thank you very much, my dude. I appreciate it. Um, I think it's, is it level eight? I'm going to go trick. This is C7356, C7356. Death, us. D7, yeah, that's a level eight one, man. That's an eight dollar thank you, essentially, like an eight dollar tip. That's really cool, dude. That like I, I, you know, thank you. Okay, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Dwayne, and I go by you can just call me Twelve. Um, and we cover Splinterlands all day, every day, because it's changed my life. It changed my life in many ways, but one of the quick ways that I can tell you now is that I invested about five thousand dollars, and it's come, it's turned into over a hundred thousand dollars. And, uh, you know, I have to tell you that that to me feels like a blessing from God. And I'm just like trying to use it in ways that hopefully help you guys recognize the opportunity here, but also for myself to then grow what that could look like so that it can be more and more a part of the income source that I, you know, rely on for the rest of my life. I think that's possible. I think that's happening for me and for others. And maybe for you, if you want to kind of set yourself goals over a long enough time horizon. Understand me, I'm not saying this is a get rich quick. I'm not saying this will retire you um, in days or weeks or months even. But I really believe that if you invest your time and attention within this amazing blockchain based video game over a long enough time horizon, which is probably three or four years, you're going to see that you accumulate a lot of resources just by playing. And those resources will appreciate with that time to a point where you're going to be surprised by what you've accumulated. That's my firm, that's my thesis and that's my, my firm opinion on on the kind of the utility and the um, the functionality of this amazing game. Plus, I think it's fun. So if that sounds interesting, stick around, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and let's do some rank battle. Thank you again. Uh, that I really appreciate that that beetle, my dude. And as you can see, it was it's now my highest crypt beetle. This is a great card, by the way, guys, because it has it has shield it all along and it has a good amount of hit points and armor and remember under equalizer with there's a rule set within the game called equalizer where you're going to get as many hearts as the highest amount of hearts from any monster on the map so this could easily be have 10 hit points in the context with shield being a three cost tank even at this level even at like even at level eight where he gave it to me five hearts three shields two two speed and two hit points it's actually a very solid tank in low mana matches, particularly the the uh, matches where it's um, um, Little League, they call it, where four mana monsters are the cap. So uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And guys, you should, if you don't already own a Crypt Beetle, this is definitely one of those cards that you should be looking at. It's very affordable. Also, four cents per BCX is pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, let's battle some. So we're working on a life quest. Let's see if we can't complete that. We're in diamond two, aiming at diamond one. I really hope we can get into champ before the third, before three days are left in the in the um, season. I like to get there before the, I find competition ramps up in the last three days. People take it very seriously. And if you want to sneak into higher levels, the window where you can really maximize your growth, I think is the, you know, between uh, six, say seven days and like three days left in the season. My daughter Hazel, getting ready for school, right, babe? Good. This that that's picking the white team. I'm using the ones with arrows. Tell me, tell me, pick one for me, okay? One of these ones that you see. Okay. She's kind of she's kind of small. She only costs two. You have one more that costs like a big number. Say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something with a big number up in the corner. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a good one. Pick some stuff also. I really like the Lone Boatman and Silver Shield Sheriff. And 
armor, the armor buff here. Well, yeah, the, that one or the, hang on. quite enough. I think I should pick that one. If I pick that one, I gotta change something. If I pick this one, I gotta get rid of the, the, the this guy here that you second one you chose. Yeah, I think that might make sense. And then that. I almost want to pick. I, I almost want to pick Uriel the Purifier or um, Shield Bear because they have more armor. But the cat, yeah, Kralis has itself heal, so that'll be fun. I would like to have picked uh, more armor, but at least my Silver Shield Sheriff has a plus two to the armor. Sometimes in this context, what I'll also do is I'll pick Resurrections because Resurrections are going to give you. Dad, you're on. I know, honey. Resurrections are going to give you the respawn of your of your main tank, who probably has a lot of armor. Mm, I'm still. I kind of want to do that, but yeah, I will. I'm gonna pick. So there you go. I'm gonna get her in there. And then I I need to get rid of get rid of her. And. Oh, I, I, I traded out the, 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 the nice girl with the archer because I moved in because I wanted to use that. Yeah. So I used the cat, but then she costs a lot of resources. So I had to trade her. So I'll show you. I picked the cat and then I, I put this one in instead of the, and this angel instead of the, the, the small archer and the big archer that I pick. See if we win. Think we're gonna win? Hmm. Can't right now because it'll it'll distract. Win. Got blast damage too, so that's a problem. This their team? Good advice, yeah. I don't have this one though. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Yeah. No good. Okay, we'll do two more. You gotta go get some breakfast, kiddo. Gotta eat breakfast. shot it's the different look chaos knight celestial harpy these are two new cards that i don't play a lot silver shield bard and the ooze are just there to change the speed dynamic herbalist is a good archer for two mana um but my team is quite squishy i don't know to know why do i have why is my name infidel 1258 and just a video game name that i used for many years infidel was a game name i used to use with when i played counter-strike and 1258 is a is a name that I, I i received during university it has something to do with my my fraternity that i was a part of so that's why i usually just go by 12 because it's kind of two names slammed together quite long so i just say you know in video games, usually when I play first-person shooters, for instance, I'll, I, you know, people I play with just call me 12. Bless you. Okay, we got that one. See, that Chaos Knight's quite good, especially at higher levels. And it, and if you end up fighting against a an opponent who has 
who happens to be more than 10 mana, she will really be da a damage dealer. I'm not going to pick her now because all of her abilities are, are nerfed due to the rule set. Back to basics. I'm going to focus on magic. Focus on speed, which means I don't really think I'm going to play white, even though I want to my white quest. Because I only see... Let's see. Maybe I can. What I'm getting at is I want to pick a team that's fast. I'm not convinced that he is. It's an okay. You okay there, Kato? So this will be the last battle, guys. Okay, go rock. So he's going magic too. This is a very common play in the rule set where monsters lose their abilities because the Elric is going to give you plus one magic and so you can set your team up with all these little nerds, two mana, three mana, four mana, six mana, and you can go nuclear because you're going to, your your summoner buff is going to be meaningful. I don't have that. I'm just giving myself a heart, but I do have a, you know, a, you know, three different monster meat shield and I have, I'm doing magic also. I think I'm in trouble though, because he's going to be doing four, seven, nine, eleven damage while I'm doing three, six, eight, and he has a good meat shield here in the Kelp Initiate. So I think we probably lose this one. I think we it won't even really be close. I think ultimately, unless I get to go first, do I get to go first? That could change something. See, he's a rare. Level two. I'm a rare level six. Melee go. I think magic goes first. But I think he's gonna kill me, and that'll take away three damage. So I. This is gonna be a big loss. Real big loss. Do I? I really need this punch. I really need my silver shield of the fire. I really. Oh, see. Well, at least I got the extra heart. The extra heart for my. If I had. If I had got that silver shield of the fire, this could have been different. Oh my goodness. Wow. My speed. I'm very surprised that happened that way. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. That one. You like that one? Jin, we call it. Her name is Jin Renopa. One of my favorites. And she's only 77 cents right now, guys. I've been buying a crazy amount. That one, right? This one. I've been buying a lot of this card because super, super affordable. I put some on every single account today. I bought another 50 or maybe I bought another 100, but as you can see, a lot of them were tens. Yeah, I'm, I'm 77 cents for this card. Look at look at what I've been doing with my marketplace because I'm convinced that the value of these cards is significant. Thank you again, DCXO2. I really appreciate it. Uh, but look at this sale. Buying green cards, focusing on green magic a lot. I've been buying, 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 buying. I got obsidian level, I got a max of obsidian. I bought two max level grums. I'm just, I'm just buying. Like I'm, I'm super convinced that these prices are not where they are gonna end up. And I'm willing to be patient with that. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not talking about two weeks from now. I'm not talking about two months from now. I'm talking about four years from now. These are deflationary in nature. There's only so many, they constantly get merged. That means reducing supply at the same time there's increasing demand. That's why. Plus, as you can see, I'm using DC that I've accumulated from the sale of my land plots, which appreciated quite nicely. So that's my story, guys. Thanks for following along. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for the contribution of the card. Thank you for all my members and people supporting the channel. Also, thank you for the guys that are just in blowing up the comments. I've been doing a lot of comic review lately and frequently asked question videos please keep dro dropping your questions on whatever topic you're interested in and i'll do my best to get in there and answer as many as i can and i will do so in video form so that more people can enjoy that response and learn from that question guys thank you for everything have an amazing day god bless